Hey guys, Wade here. I'm going to perform the first test of draining the solution from the water table down into this reservoir right here. So I thought I would go ahead and film it. There's a little under 10 gallons. I used the, uh, a Home Depot 5 gallon bucket to fill it up. So I would say just a hair under 10 gallons in here. I will probably be running normally, I guesstimate, around 12 gallons. So, uh, I, you know, we can extrapolate the information as soon as it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this off. I'm going to open this valve up a little bit. And then hit this drain. My iPad turned off on me, so I'll just use the footage from the video to add however many seconds I need to add. This valve right here, I can feel air coming out of it, so the, it's, the air is being displaced as the water comes into the reservoir. This is also used right here for filling it up as far as pushing the water with a, with a air pressure, an air hose hook to here. It'll push the water back up into water table. So we're getting close to the end. I'd say about three and a half minutes for there uh, total. Uh, looking at probably with a full 12 gallons for four and a half minutes, so way under five, not bad at all. There's still a bit of water because of this little ridge right here. There's a, a little bit of water, but not bad. I'm sure after I get done cutting, I'm going to have to clean this table anyway. So a little bit of uh, water left over just on the bottom. I'll be scooping that out with either a paper towel or... Um, like a, a you know a drywall knife or whatever to just uh, some type of knife to scrape up the the re remains and the gunk. So that's it. I I'll show the next round. I'll actually fill the table back up. So I'm gonna there's a small leak on one on the first uh, filter, and I'm gonna tweak that just a bit and then fill the table back up. And... Hey guys, I'm back. I repaired the leak, at least I think I did. I used this Permatex white threaded plastic pipe sealant. It's worked well for me in the past. So now I've already hooked up the air hose, as you can see over in here. And I'm going to crack this slightly. I've got the valve down here open. So we're going to time this to see how long it takes to refill the table again it's about nine and a half just a hair under 10 gallons uh, and once again i'll probably be using about 12 gallons so here we go i'm being a little cautious since this is the first time i've done this You can see the water bubbling up. I'll try it a little bit faster. A little bit more pressure. I don't want to stress any of the plastic parts or that plastic reservoir. Oh, I forgot my timer again. <laughs> oh well. I'm sure I'll do this plenty of times where I can actually figure out the timer. Plus, like I said, I can check the camera, the video, to see how long it actually takes. I may be a little bit more. I already see that I have one leak. Hopefully that's just because it's going in the reverse motion down here. 
seems to be filling a bit unevenly as you can see it's forcing it up the path of least resistance which is the left side over here right in, in that area I can see that the reservoir is actually bowed out a little bit from the pressure so I think this is about as good as it's going to get because it's pushing air so that tells me that this inch inch and a quarter down at the bottom of the reservoir is gonna we're gonna have to add a little bit extra water just to make sure that we have enough water in the table so there's always going to be apparently because of the height of this tube going into the reservoir we're always going to have about an inch inch and a half of water down there left over so this was a good test uh, I'll keep monitoring it and see if this if this leak keeps going on I of course early on I want to stress the system and see how everything uh, works and, and you know take it for a trial run and and test all the parameters to see that what I need to tweak and and what needs to be upgraded or what have you so anyway that's the water table test uh, I know exciting but it, it is kind of cool once it gets all uh, once it'll be up and functioning with just being able to drain everything within about less than five minutes and then refill the table and not always have standing water in the table. All right, hey, thanks for watching. Cheers.